at the circular permutation. This time, we are going to look at the permutation of four objects, four different objects. We arrange them in a circle. We arrange them in a circle. So how to arrange four objects in a circle? Right, let's say I start with A, B, C, D. I go anti-clockwise, A, B, C, D, right? Then, if you look at the, the, the next one at the bottom there, can you see that it is A, B, C, D? So, relative to, to, to themselves, relative to A or relative to themselves, the bottom arrangement is the same as this top arrangement. Okay? Now, let's say uh, A is here. And you go anti-clockwise, you get A, B, C, D. So it's the same. If you go anti-clockwise, you get A, B, C, D. So all these three arrangements at the bottom here is the same as the arrangement at the top there. They are no difference. You think that they are different because you think that if I move to another chair, then the arrangement will be different. Oh, no, no. If you move to another chair, the arrangement is different. That means it is the the arrangement in a line, arrangement in a straight line. And then you move to another chair, there is another place. You move to another chair, there is a different arrangement. But for circular permutation, they are all in a circle. Their position relative to one another is the one that counts. Their position relative to the chair is, doesn't count. Right? It doesn't count. So then you may ask me, hey, if that is the case, huh? wow, very difficult to to get a different permutation or it is not really that difficult now you see i can always fix the a and b a and b here fix huh? so i fix the a and b then the c and d i interchange that place i interchange that place so c go to go to the side then d go to the bottom so it will be another arrangement so since we fix the a and b then is there any other way we can interchange the C and D? Only two objects there. You can only interchange one more time only. So with A and B fixed, there is no other chance that you can get other permutations. Right? So now I have to I have to fix two other places already. I fix A and C. Fix the C next to the A, right? In this case, I fix the B next to the A. Here, I fix the C next to the A. So, if when this C is next to A, the B and D I can change. So, I can get two ways like that. Right? So, I get two ways like that. Okay? So, when I fix D next to A, when I fix D next to A, then the B and C can change. So, there will be two ways. Now, all these, they are different ways. All those that I, I've listed at the top, they are different ways. Those at the bottom, at the bottom, they are the same as the first one at the top. They are the first one. They are same as first one at the top. Now, earlier on, I told you for three objects, I take three factorial divided by three. Now, we have four objects. We have four objects. So, I take four factorial divided by 4. 4 factorial divided by 4 is 6 ways. So it is correct. I have 6 ways here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I have 6, six different ways. Uh, let's say now you don't have 4 objects. You have n objects. So if n objects, you want to arrange them in a circle. Of course, I must say n different objects. Huh? n different objects, you want to arrange them in a circle, then it will be n factorial divided by n. n factorial divided by n. Uh, this thing, when you simplify, is actually n minus 1 factorial. But don't, don't use this n minus 1. So the actual way is n factorial divided by n. Why n? Because there are n other repeated ways. Okay, there are n other repeated ways. So we have to, we have to same way, not repeated, same way, so I divide by n. Okay, so this is the formula for circular permutation. n factorial divided by n.
Any question? No, teacher. No, you can think 